Hi, I'm moody. I am feeling moody and it's definitely time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the sign of Sagittarius. And this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guide, what does Sag need to know regarding love under this new moon? Mm, silence is golden, I just heard. Um, could be that you're not talking to somebody, somebody's not talking to you, but... There's silence right now. Tell me more. Mm, and this silence is creating a barrier. Okay. Mm, it's changing your vibration, either your vibration or their vibration. You know, sometimes silence can be a barrier that causes people to raise their vibration. It can also cause people to lower their vibration, right? Somebody could get mad because you're not talking or you could get mad because they're not talking more. Tell me about this mute spirit. Why is mute here? For Sag, what happened? Oh, so maybe somebody's not talking because they're working on their self. Um, yes, somebody's getting ready to do something new and they're not talking about it. They're just doing the work. And, you know, that's how it's supposed to be, Sag. If you are working on breaking free from a situation, trying to start a new cycle, go in a new direction, begin something new. Sometimes it's best not to talk about it because then other people can't mess it up, right? Yeah, I mean, you've done a lot of work to get to where you are. Um, introspectively, you've done the work and now you're ready to come out of this void period. You've done some shadow work. Yes. Somebody remembers you. They miss you. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's regretful that they didn't take a chance with you. They didn't go in the same direction you were going. Somebody is upset. They have regrets that they have not talked to you in a long time, Sag. Yes, that they've withheld from you. So I, I kind of feel like somebody is having second thoughts about being silent when it came to you. But regarding you, Sag, this silence gave you time to forge something new. It's a new cycle, a new direction. You know, you're coming out of this hermit energy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Whoever wasn't talking to you, uh, the devil card, could be a Capricorn, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They see that you're coming out of this hermit energy with um, a promotion, like a positive change. There's success about, around you. you. You have a spark currently. Whoever had um, constructed this barrier by not talking to you wish they could take it down. Mm. Actually, unbeknown to you, says this barrier has kept a lot of toxicity from you. It's almost like be glad they weren't talking to you because it had minimum impact on your vibration. Yeah, you're still headed in a new direction under this new moon. It's all about your freedom. And um, as you're moving, you are not communicating. And that is what's keeping your vibration high. Um, it's it, There's a barrier between you and anything impacting your success at this point. But there's somebody 
who is not talking to you, right? And as a result of them not talking to you, you spent a lot of time in the hermit energy. You're coming out now and everybody sees this light, light, this spark. It's like you have promotions. I don't know. You feel much more self-assured. There's opportunities around you. And that's why they're thinking of you, regretting that they haven't talked to you in so long. Maybe some of the things that they have done have been kind of toxic in your relationship. But you know, this barrier that they resurrected to hurt you, it has really transformed your situation. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't waste time with a relationship that was a dead end. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. For Sagittarius under this new moon. Tell me more, spirit. Mm. Yeah, five of wands, breaking free. It's the five of wands reverse, jealousy. So maybe initially when they first met you, you know, they saw so much in you and uh, they didn't feel their worth, their value. They didn't feel they could stand up with you they didn't you know they saw you on the move headed in a new direction you were like new energy mm, that's why they shrunk they pulled back because yeah they felt that they couldn't compete with you it wasn't a matter of competing with you though but it hurt you it hurt you five of pentacles it's like they walked away they abandoned you Right, they chose somebody else. But, you know, the cycle needed to end that way because you have a five of wands, the five of pentacles. It was a hurtful, um, competitive, very envious, jealousy. All of that was there. And that's why uh, they wouldn't talk to you. They, they kind of cut you out. They abandoned you. But that's what set you on a new course of action. You became the hermit and you went within and you started to introspectively look at your life and what you wanted to change and the type of love that you wanted, one that won't wilt when it's challenged, right? One that won't fade when it's called on. Mm. And Sag, as soon as you got that energy, that hermit energy, and it began to work, <laughs> mm, yeah, it began to work because you pulled yourself away from everybody and everything, right? And so there was this period where you were not accessible. And because you weren't around, there was no communication, they didn't visually see you, they began to miss you. They began to experience life without you, and they didn't like that. Mm -mm. Tell me more. They didn't like that, that you you walked away, and you took your energy. You became a hermit. Sag. Yeah, that, that was the best move that you could make. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. All of this five. This is about you changing you. You know, what they did, they thought was going to hurt you. Clearly, their intentions were to hurt you with the five of wands and the five of pentacles. And you even have the five of swords. So definitely, you had to come into your power, um, temperance, and control yourself because you couldn't control them, right? All you could do is control yourself. You became the hermit. Right. Some of you just removed yourself from the situation with the chariot. It's like uh, you put some distance between you and them. Mm. 
yeah, you gave them a taste of life without you. That's what you, they wanted. That's what they got. And now they miss you. Now that you're not there, they are feeling the impact of that barrier that they erected. <laughs> Isn't that funny? They kick you out and then they um, come back looking for you. Where's Sag? What's Sag doing? I thought you didn't want to know about sad but you know this was a toxic kind of love uh the lovers reverse qualifying toxicity it could have been with the capricorn but you know this was not a relationship that was going to add to you and that's why spirit used the barrier that they created to give you time to become the hermit and really think upon what it is that you want and this current energy sees you winning, coming out with a windfall, a gift. Your vibration is high and you have a soul tie up ahead. That's what the new moon brings for you. A soul tie, a new relationship, a faded partnership. Mm. Okay. I just believe that whoever went silent on you in the beginning. It worked out in your favor because they were toxic. Mm. Now, this toxic lover here that things didn't work out with in the past, they almost refuse to let you go. They see you vibrating on a higher level, getting ready to establish a new soul tie, and they don't want to let you go with the world's reverse. Where are you going, Seth? Where are you going? Yeah, this is somebody who's watched you um, evolve with the Son of Swords. They've watched you evolve. Um, they've watched, you know, the light grow inside of you. And they see you're on the verge of a new partnership. Mm, they wish that they never lied about you, talked about you, gossiped on you. They wish that they could do it over. <laughs> yeah, I see. All right, what else do we want to say for Sag regarding love in December under this new moon in Sagittarius? And today is the waning crescent moon in Sag. Your energy is what matters, <laughs> okay? Spirit said, how you feel about this situation, about your future, where you're headed, that's all that matters. Yeah, everything else is smoke. It's going to go up in smoke. It's not, it's going to evaporate. <laughs> okay, what else? Concerning love, these new ties coming in. Yeah, this is confirmation um, that that barrier served its job, the silence worked, and you're focused on something new. Uh, you're breaking new ground. Absolutely. When it comes to love, uh, you need something that's much more reciprocal, something that complements you. Mm. What else? Massage. Oh, yeah, they are definitely coming back to try and reconcile with you. They don't want to let you go. It's not going to be easy. They're trying to find a bridge back to you. They're way back to you. What to say, what to do. The world card is reversed. This is future energy. They know they were toxic as hell when it comes to love. They know they did, that they caused the situation that they're in. They're well aware of that, but they still are not prepared to let you go. They want to find their way back to you. They're looking at this from every direction. They're watching you. They know you're on the brink of a new partnership. Mm, wishing that they never said some of the things they said, never did some of the things that they did. They want to reconcile with you. 
<laughs> All right. What is your recommendation to Sag? Hmm? What's your advice? Yeah, they created this barrier and they were in control initially, but now you're in control with Temperance Sag. You're in control. And you have the ability to break this silence, you know, to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Or to move forward with something new. Yeah, you you deserve satisfaction. You deserve um, to be fulfilled. You do. You deserve much more than you've received in the past with them. And you've worked. You know, the hermit energy is here because you put forward some effort dealing with um, some character defects after the way they made you feel. And so now the roles have changed, right? They, they, are, they wish they could take this barrier. <laughs> they wish, first of all, they never created the barrier. They wish they never stopped talking to you. They wish they never stopped talking. They didn't talk about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is somebody who I feel is like I would I wish I could have, would have, should have, right? Because the roles have been reversed now. Now they wish they want nothing more than to talk to you. <laughs> Someone who created all of this distance, this silence, you know, now the roles are reversed and they wish they could talk to you. They wish that they could cross this bridge and be back with you. Oh, look at it. I know they are trying to formulate the right words. For Sag, this is somebody who really wants you back. Didn't I say the roles have reversed? They've walked a mile in your shoes. So this is somebody who, who has experienced what they put you through. They've gotten a little taste of their own medicine, and now they want to come back and apologize. They don't want this cycle to end. They don't want you to move on, Sag, and find someone else. It's like, I'm not letting you go. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> no, no. Now they're talking nonstop, right? You can't shut them up. They're trying to get in touch with you because they want to apologize. And you know what? Spirit just told me, forgive them because that clears your energy. That clears your energy and it keeps your heart open. You don't get bitter, angry, Nothing. It, it keeps you in the flow of increase. Yeah, listen to them. Accept their apology. Mm -hmm. They've experienced what they put you through. Yeah. And so, yeah, they see that you are fated to move towards a new relationship. Your life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and, and they wonder have they lost you uh is there any way to cross that bridge again please Sash, i hear it child yes you're on to bigger better things you've moved on you have other opportunities Open your heart, right? It's about you accepting that apology so your heart stays open. So you're able to give and receive love when it comes. Mm. Bottom line is you're going to need to listen to your intuition. Um... They sure are going out of their way to remove all barriers. They, <sighs> yes, <laughs> they're kind of desperate. Mm. They're praying for you, asking God for you to forgive them. Yeah, 
I don't know. I don't see this bringing them back into your life um, because separation and time apart is on the horizon. So that means you two are going to stay separated. But I think what's important here, Sag, is this apology because this... They're going to make an apology to you and Spirit wants you to forgive them because that's what's going to free you up to move forward. See, yes, to move forward and to find what it is that you really want. You know, there is a union, a soul tie that is for you. Some of you, I, I do have to say this, so I do believe that um there may be a reconciliation here. You, This apology may come across very sincere. You may decide to forgive them, to give them a chance. And in that case, Spirit is saying, watch what they do more than what they say. But there could be a reconciliation with the past. So in this case, you're going to listen to your intuition and you're going to do what feels right. For you and that's the recommendation if you were able to identify with something that was said like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment for all of you it's going to be different but let's pray for the right answer for you individually when it comes to this person that wants to apologize let Sagittarius supply the right answer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Until the next moon phase, namaste.